Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming my first vlog in a little while with you guys. I haven't done one of these in a few videos, so I'm excited to vlog again and kind of like just get back into that rhythm because it's just a totally different style of filming. I have a whole list of things that I want to get done today, and the main thing that we want to get done first is we're going to be transitioning Sersha from a crib into a toddler bed. Now her crib is the baby, I think it's called gelato or something, or gelato um, four-in-one crib, so it transitions into a toddler bed itself. So we're going to be doing that. We're going to be baby-proofing her room. We're going to be moving things around so that we can put her camera back in there just to kind of monitor her during this transition time and figure out, you know, her rhythm and getting, making sure she's safe in her room and in her bed and things like that at nighttime. So I've been really into intimidated to do this. I'm really nervous about it. Um, but she's climbing. She's a big climber. She has been for a while and I just, I don't want to wait for her to climb and fall out of her crib and then do it. I'd rather do it before she falls out of her crib. So we're going to go ahead and do that today. So I'm going to film some of that. I'm hoping to go grocery shopping. I'm hoping to get a lot of things done around the house. Mondays are our family day and that typically is when we either go and kind of do a big adventure together and or we get a lot of stuff done around the house that we just don't really have time for throughout the week. So I'm going to take you guys along with me on that today. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. This is Sersha's room. That is her transition toddler bed right there. She's going to be helping us with that. Here's a little mirror someone made for her that's so sweet. So we're going to take this out of here, put it in our room, and then we're going to move this and then put this dresser. We're going to get some safety latches all put on there, move that here so that we can cover up that outlet and still have her sound machine and her camera up above in here. And then I think I'm just going to declutter some of her clothes that are hanging up so it's a little bit simpler. She's got these bins above in here where I put like her dress up clothes and things like that. So I'm going to do some decluttering. Um, and this is the railing that we're going to be putting on that side of her bed. What do you think? Is that your big girl bed? Yeah. yeah. How cool. Go. Cool. <laughs> you like it? This is pretty exciting stuff. It's pretty exciting. All right, how can we get out of there safely? I'm not going to be in here to help you, so you need to figure out how to be, get out safely. You're going to fall backwards if you don't get your leg over. Great job. That was a really good way of doing that. You like your bed? So far so good. We transitioned her bed from the crib to the toddler bed so we took off one of the side railings and put on the small one. Um, she played in it. She seemed to really like it. We put some stuffed animals in there for her and the blankets that she sleeps with every night. 
Um, we moved some furniture around and baby proofed as much as we could for right now. We're gonna get some latches to go on the dresser that's in her room. So she doesn't have that, but we have the camera up so we can see her if she moves around at all. She was actually eager to get into bed. Like it's right at her nap time. And because we took the chair out, normally I would sing to her two or three songs and rock her until she was pretty sleepy, um, but not fully asleep. And then I'd put her down, give her a blanket, and she'd be done. So she had a, like a little bit of a milk bottle and I sing her one song and she was getting up wanting to get into bed and pointing at her bed. So I was going, okay. So I was a little nervous. She wasn't gonna wanna stay in her bed, but I put her down and she hasn't moved. Like she's perfectly still. It's her head right there. And since I put her down, she has not even turned her head at all. I honestly thought she was just gonna jump up and jump out of bed immediately, but she didn't. So we'll see. If you've seen my last video, then you know that I'm pregnant. Uh, I am about 12 weeks today exactly, and I'm really, really excited about it. I'm due May 2nd, um, and Sarsha's birthday is in mid-April. So it's pretty exciting. I think it'll be a really fun age gap, right about two years. Gosh, there's a lot of fears for me, for sure, because we've had a miscarriage before, before we got pregnant with Sersha. So new pregnancy, I think it's taken me a while to really fully like not get excited necessarily, but like for it to really sink in which I think is pretty normal after you've had loss. Um, my midwife explained it to me that it's like kind of you've lost your innocence to what pregnancy really is like. Um, and because that was my first pregnancy, I think it really stuck with me in a very deep way. Yeah, I'm still kind of processing through that. I'm processing through even like Sersha's birth. That was really hard and really long and I had a induction, it's just some trauma around that and around some of the things that went on during my labor. Um, actually, I made a video of my birth. If you wanna see that, I'll link that right above here. And just hear my whole birth story of giving birth in April of 2020, which was crazy, um, right at the beginning of pandemic and everything. But we're really feeling excited about this baby. We got to hear their heartbeat just a couple days ago. Um, the plan is to leave the gender a surprise. The idea of, you know, in the actual day of like giving birth and, you know, Joey helped deliver Sersha. So his plan is to do that again with this baby. Um, and so just like the idea of him knowing first, like it's a girl or it's a boy or whatever, like just, I think the excitement of that moment is so cool to me. We've really tried to go gender neutral. Like our high chair is white, um, her walker was white and gray. We did, we did a lot of whites and grays with the things that we knew we weren't gonna wanna have to buy again every single time. Like her crib is just a natural, actually it's like a really pretty New Zealand pine. Um, so we really tried to do lots of neutrals with the things that we know we're gonna use over and over again. And then I've gotten tons of just free baby clothes from like resource centers or, um, I mean, I've paid for some too. Like we've gone to some great yard sales over the summer, which I just highly recommend if you're on a budget and need some baby clothes. People are always getting rid of things at yard sales for really affordable. Um, so I found some great boy stuff. There's like, it's hard to shop gender neutral on a budget. Um, I think that's just like a big money-making opportunity for companies so that you have to buy more. <laughs> Basically just been collecting some boy things over time and so we're at least slightly prepared for this first couple of months. It is currently 12.15 on the dot. I put Sersha down around 10.45. So she slept for an hour and a half, is that right? Yeah, hour and a half, which is great, I think, for her first time napping in that bed. And she actually got up about 10 minutes ago and crawled off her bed picked up a stuffed animal that was on the floor, brought it back to bed, and now she's just laying in bed playing with her stuffed animals. I'm really excited that she did so well. I hope she does this well at nighttime. I feel like that's a total victory. I wanted to just quickly show you guys kind of the final setup for Sersha's room, or at least what we came to today. So when you first walk in, this is what you're gonna see. So 
we have got here this is kind of a Montessori style setup with um you know the wall outlets are covered right there all of them in the room are covered now she has a couple of simple toys she can play with if she'd like there's a little mirror up there we left pretty much everything in its place here's her bed I let her pick out all of her stuffed animals that she wanted to bring to bed. She's always loved that that um, bulldog. And then I got her that cute little lamb this summer while we were in Idaho and someone gifted her that. So she's got some nice, really soft blankies and then her quilt that she's always had literally since she was born. Um, so she got her favorite blankets. Those are her blackout curtains. She has blinds underneath of that as well. And usually they would hang onto the floor, but I kind of just figured that I should pull them up if possible, just to sort of discourage her from, you know, yanking on them. Um, those are still the same. And then here's her dresser, which I'm gonna get latches for today, but she didn't seem interested in climbing on it at all um, after her nap. But then we've got her camera set up, which connects to my phone. That's her hatch sound machine, which we love. Um, and then this is just empty. So I emptied out her closet. Joey moved her dresser from out of there. And I kind of want to just do something fun with that area. Like, I don't know if maybe we can make a little reading nook and put up some low shelves. Um, I have those like Ikea spice rack shelves. So I think that could be a really fun little reading nook. I decluttered a bunch of her clothes. Um, so she's just got basically two dress-up dresses, um, and then her church dresses, and a few jackets, and a few sweaters. Um, and then up there, I'm gonna organize that more later. There's like her winter clothes, that's all dress-up stuff in that last box. Um, and then those are the shelves, the Ikea rack shelves. <clears throat> and then this is like a little hook that I think when she gets a little bit bigger, I'd like to pull down and use at her level to kind of put like her backpack and her jacket on. This girl did such a great job napping. I'm so proud of you, baby. I think we're gonna go grocery shopping right after lunch and um, pick up some food for the week. We, I've been doing a lot of the, um, what's it called, curbside delivery for Fred Meyers. Um, Cause it's like a $35 minimum and then there's no fee for it and they're just drive and pick it up. But I just forgot to do that yesterday. So um, we're gonna go into the grocery store and do some shopping. And I think I'm gonna take you with me. And go grocery shopping? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. In Oregon, we are under a full mask mandate right now. I think I'm gonna try out this little like face guard thing that goes like this. A friend of mine got it for me. Um, and I wanna see if it helps because I was having a really hard time breathing on Sunday with the mask that I was using. Um, and it just like, you know, when it goes in your mouth, it's just not fun. So we'll see if this helps with that. I don't know if I'm supposed to like hook it onto my mask or anything, but I don't think so. Can you say cheese? Way better. 
with this little thing, but it's still hard to breathe. Um, I don't know if it's like a pregnancy thing. I do get really lightheaded. Um, and I have, or I had kind of low blood pressure last time I went into the doctor. So I'm already kind of like dizzy and lightheaded. So when I have to wear a mask and then it's just hard breathing, I feel like it really affects me. Um, but we got everything we need. So we're going to head home now, unload. Um, I should clean out the fridge. I need to clean out the fridge. I don't want to, but I should. So I think I will before I put everything away. We just got home from grocery shopping and I almost forgot to do this, but I'm really glad I remembered because I love seeing people's grocery hauls. So I wanted to just quickly show you guys what I got. I got three different kinds of berries. So I ate um, about a third of these and then dumped a third on the floor. So, you know, that is what it is. Um, we always have to be snacking in the grocery store. And then I did blueberries and strawberries. I love getting berries because my husband and Sersha and I are all really big berry people and we love putting them in our yogurt for breakfast or for a snack. Um, so got lots of those. I always get berries. I get the um, Organic Valley whole milk uh, milk for Sersha. And then I just got Joey half and half for his coffee. Um, I also get two different kinds of these Forager cashew milk yogurts. I get the vanilla bean. They're so creamy and good. It's just like the best dairy-free yogurt that I've found. Um, hi, Sersh. You walking in my shoes? You look great in them. <laughs> um, and then I also get Sersha some like Greek. Oh shoot, I meant to get the whole, th whole milk. That's why I wanted to get the other one. Okay. Normally I get her the whole milk yogurt, but this one was non-fat, so amen. Um, and then I got Brussels sprouts, bell peppers, avocados were on sale. They're pretty small, but um, they're really inexpensive, so I went for those. And then I love some organic honey crisp apples. There's just uh, nothing so refreshing. It's just a good slice of apple. I know you want some berries. I also did baby carrots for Saoirse and I to snack on. And then I got big carrots and celery for Joey because he's going to make his um, chicken noodle soup and he needs both of those for that. Grabbed a zucchini because I just feel like I always use zucchinis and some organic bananas. Serge, I know you want some, can you wait? Then I got two different kinds of kettle chips. I know I'm not a big potato chip person, but I've really been craving them since I got pregnant. So I got the Parmesan garlic and the habanero lime ones. Uh, then I get the large bone eggs. So I try to get the simple truth ones. Uh, and then I got some organic mac and cheese for Sersha. Um, and this one, oh my gosh, I highly recommend this. So dairy-free cheese, it pretty much all sucks, right? Like we can all agree that it mostly all sucks. This one, this brand, Dia, I used to hate it, but they started this new one called Cutting Board Collection and they actually melt really well. Um, I use them twice now and I use them on just making dairy-free nachos and they were actually good guys. And I've tried a lot of different dairy-free cheeses, but this cutting board collection kind has been my favorite so far. Um, I also got the mozzarella style ones just in case we wanna make some sourdough pizza. So then I also got some green juice just to have kind of on hand in the fridge being pregnant. I feel like I don't get enough um, of just everything. So I like to have a little bit extra of that in the fridge. Um, I picked up some of this, I love this brand, Jovial Gluten-Free Egg Pasta. Um, brown rice pasta is the way to go for any gluten-free pasta, go with brown rice pasta. Um, I'm gonna make some pumpkin sourdough muff, or not muffins, um, uh, what do you call them? Cinnamon rolls, organic <laughs> pumpkin sourdough cinnamon roll soon. So I grabbed a little of that. Um, the enchilada sauce was on sale, so I got green and red, and then some extra, oh, I didn't realize I got spicy jalapeno. I didn't mean to get that. I meant to get two of these just traditional ones, but that's fine. Um, and then I got some marinara sauce in case we want to do some pasta soon. Uh, and then I've really been liking the Starbucks coffee. I know that's really bougie. I don't always get pumpkin spice or anything, but it's just, they've been on sale and they're so, so good. So I've been getting them. Um, got some forks and spoons for Sersha. She's really been showing a lot of interest in wanting to use her own spoon when she's eating and forks too. So trying to give her that freedom to learn how to do that on her own. Um, these were on sale. We needed these for her little dresser in her room. Um, and then I also got these like organic gummy bears. These are my favorites. 
I have such a sugar tooth normally, not as much when I'm pregnant this time for some reason, but um, I normally do a lot. So I like to have just like some little candies on hand around the house and then berries and other things to satisfy it too. Um, my total was 151, so it wasn't terrible. Um, a little bit over my budget for the week, but I went pretty under budget last week, so that's totally fine. So I did wipe down my fridge really quickly and just cleaned it up and tidied it, got rid of old food, things like that. I really like to put all of my eggs into this little clear plastic container for my fridge. Um, I just hate the look of like an egg carton in my fridge and I love being able to see as much of the food as I have in there clearly as possible. So it might be stupid, but I always do this and I really like it. Good morning guys. It's actually the next day. It is Tuesday right now. Um, I just started feeling so nauseous last night and just lightheaded and not good. Um, so I decided to kind of wrap up the vlog early yesterday, but this morning I had such a great time. Um, so Sersha, I wanted to just update you guys. So Sersha slept all night. Like she slept her full routine. She did not wake up once. She didn't even get out of bed once. She stayed in her toddler bed and just did so, so well. And she's actually napping right now for her first nap of the day. She was doing one nap a day, then she went back to two naps a day, but now I think she's doing good with one nap a day because they're actually pretty long, like anywhere from an hour and a half to three hours sometimes. So we're sticking with one nap, but she's doing so great. And I'm just really, really grateful that the transition to a toddler bed from her crib has been so seamless. Um, I was really expecting it to be tough. And I mean, it might get tough later when she just kind of feels more confident to get out in and out of bed, which I hope she does feel confident to get out of bed when she really wants to, like when she's done in the morning. Um, and I need to think about more like <clears throat> in the morning, like this morning we, um, when we knew she was up, it was around 6.15. Um, I just kind of turned on her Halo, um, or her, not Halo, Hatch. Her sound machine has like a light that goes with it and that I can do from my phone. So I just adjusted the light from nothing to a little bit so she could at least see in her room a bit and kind of play if she wanted to. But she just laid in bed and kind of kicked her feet up and looked at her stuffed animals and didn't do too much till we came in. Um, so I was really glad, like she did so great and wanted to just update you guys with that, that it was a good transition. We did talk about it a lot, like for a few days leading up to her getting her big girl bed. Um, and you know, we've done lots of like safety locks in her room on the latches and like drawers and things. And then we have a lot of great safety locks for our front doors. We don't have a gate or anything like that, um, like keeping her in her room at night. We don't lock her in her room. We don't like do anything like that um, just for like fire safety reasons. And we just I don't want her to feel locked in her room. Um, but we'll see how we kind of figure out how she can learn when it's time to get up in the morning and when it's okay to get out of bed and things like that. We'll probably just have to kind of take time to figure out with her, but I'm really grateful she's doing so well. Um, and then I even got to do the last thing on my to-do list for yesterday. I did this morning, which was to clean all of our carpets. I was so grateful that one of my good friends from church, um, she's actually just got baptized this year, which was so cool just a couple months ago. Um, she's just become a really close friend. And anyway, she lent me her carpet cleaner. She has like a whole, you know, like full size one. So I took a little bit of time this morning and did her bedroom, our bedroom, and um, this carpet that we have in our living room that was really grungy and so dirty. So I just cleaned a few of our carpets and then I think I'm gonna do Joey's office later. So um, yeah, I did everything on my list yesterday. <laughs> we were sitting down at the end of the day and we're like, wow, we've, we got a lot done today. That's awesome. Like we really, we did a lot. Uh, so that was a good feeling to us. I think just feeling like, you know, we got up at the same time. We're really productive throughout the day. We did things together. Um, we did things separately. We just enjoyed our day and made the most of it and even filmed a vlog while we did that. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I loved filming this vlog. Um, give me a comment down below if you'd like me to film more vlogs and just what kind of vlogs you'd like to see from me. I really 
they're hard to film in some ways, but they're really fun to edit. So uh, if you want to see more of these or specific things throughout my day or what I do or whatever, just let me know in a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe and uh, hit the like button as well as it really supports my channel. But I'll see you guys next Thursday. Bye.